What's up, people? I am one unlucky gamer, and we are back with Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Uh, in the last episode, we got to go and hear my terrible voice acting, and we went and, uh, yeah, I think we battled Bakora, right? Yeah. And we tried to chase Rex around. So, we are going to go and try to get through the story as f f quest fast and quick as possible <laughs> and let's see what we have I'm still on my gamepad so the controls are still a little bit wonky but um, if I recall because I haven't played this game in like three years or so uh, the first person we saw in the last episode was this trio and I believe you only have to beat one of them to be able to progress onto bones so let's take a look at her deck it's pretty bad to be honest uh, can I hit select? I can for number, attack, defense, okay. All that fun stuff. Um, so yeah. This is the haunt of ghost deck users. If you value your life, leave while you can. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to battle you. So you want to do this? You're sure of it? I guess, man, I don't know. Um, We don't really have super high ante. So, I guess we'll just use this. Alright. So, what do we got here? Uh, I love this game. <laughs> I love the old Yu-Gi-Oh! games, because you can just play all the banned cards. Um, I don't think you can leave uh, attack monsters face down in this game. I know in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, for the PlayStation 1, you could, and that was cheap as fuck. So, uh, and this game doesn't look like it. But it's all good. We'll go and... Can I attack? Yeah. Do some direct damage. End our turn. And let's see what this guy has. I don't even know his name. That's one thing that I don't like about this game, is that they don't tell you the character's name. And in, like, Pokemon, it would be like, you know... Douchebag Carl, or <laughs> something like that. And, uh... In this game, it's just... They're insignificant. And I mean, they're... You know, not even really significant characters, but I'd like to see some development. Uh, Contract of the Mask? Uh, can I look at details on that? What is it? A ritual for summoning a mask of shine and dark with tributes. For this, two monsters and a mask of darkness is needed. Uh, we don't have... Well, we have the two tributes, but not the mask of darkness, so... Let's go and hit this pot of greed. Let's see what we get. And two cards from the deck? Let's see. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh... Get over. Okay, Witch's Apprentice. Now, we used Witch's Apprentice in the last time, and it boosts up dark monsters, so that'll be good for these two. And... This guy's got pretty weak monsters, so yeah, that'll take it out. Dharma Cannon, doing some good damage, and this just looks like a Karibo to me. I mean, you tell me. I think it looks exactly like Karibo. Well, not exactly, but pretty damn close. What'd we get? I really want to go and get like a high level monster, but this'll work. And should no, this won't take it out. I'm trying to do math in my head, it's like just not working. We're gonna get real close though, and we can take this guy out, and then we can go and beat bones. And then we should get a locator card from him. And then we only need we need six, and we already have one, so we'll only need four more. So I can't remember, I don't think this story is actually super long. And my slots are full, so we can just take you out. <laughs> you were nothing. And Karibo Rich Ghost is going to go and take him out. Pretty damn fast. Deck capacity increased, 290 Domino, and Zanki. What's Zanki? Oh yeah, the Swordsman. Can I use him? Apparently I can't. Oh, he's a one sacrifice, that's right. I'm not going to battle these guys, just because I want to go and get through this uh, fast. So... Here's Bones. What? What do you want? If you don't want anything, you're in the way. In the way of what? You just doing nothing in a graveyard? What are you really doing? I don't want to know. Hehehe, <laughs> you wanted to duel with me? I never turned down anyone's challenge. You look weak enough too. But on one condition, we duel for locator cards. Your locator card is as good as mine. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna go and use this because it's high level anti, I would think. Or high enough for right now. Um, so if Bones is 
probably gonna use fiend or dark or what it was it shadow sorry I was just recording Pokemon um, what a Skellenge will do I think it draws one card when it's summoned <coughs> yeah sorry about that um, so depending on if it's fiend or shadow we can determine uh, let's get Dharma Cannon out let's see all right, uh, I think that was Fiend, so we should be okay. And that was like a plant, so I don't even know what you're doing, Bones. I mean, Pumpkin, King of Ghosts is a plant, but... Well, I'm not going to let you get that out. Um, so we're going to tribute Dharma Cannon and get Sandstone. And, yep, see, there's the first type advantage thing. So Light beats Fiend, and that's why this game is cool and it's bad. Because you don't really need a lot of skill. Well, I mean, you need a basic amount of skill for this because you could just have a type advantage and it could be like a 200 attack monster versus a 2500 attack monster, it doesn't matter. So that's the one downside to it, um, which it'll help me get through this faster, but it also, because I play the actual game, kind of is just weird to me. Um, then again, I'm hitting product, pot of greeds like this. So, what do we get? A uh, white dolphin and... Whoa, hello. Uh, frog the jam. Um, I don't think his defense has been over like 500. So, yeah, we're just going to take bones out. Really simple. Really easy. I was hoping there was going to be more of a challenge than this, considering my deck is complete crap. Uh, but then again, I never gave him a chance to get anything good out on the field. It's also his fault too, because he's not using any traps or anything. Although, neither do I. So, I don't know how much I can criticize. It's pretty much who got the luck of the draw. Alright, so we beat Bones, and deck capacity increased by 30. That's a hell of a lot. And 500 bucks, could have done better. But we got his Pump King, and we can't use it, but we might use it later. It's my loss. My ultimate ghost deck was laid to rest. Even though it wasn't really that good. But that's beside the point. We beat, uh, we beat Bones. And we got another Locator card. So, we're gonna go and head back to the house. Trishan's to stand in there. And save up. See what Tristan has to say. Yo, Roxas. As a member of the Booster Club, I'm expecting big things from you, Roxas. Alright. And what's the dog say? That's it. Well, I can't really expect anything more from a dog. Um, let's go, since we beat Bones, we got a locator card. We should get... Uh, no, I guess not. Let's see, what do we have? Nothing here. Uh, I don't want to go to the card shop yet, because I want a higher uh, dueling capacity and duelist level. So let's check our duelist level. Uh, status... 85, okay. And we've got, I think that's at like 4,000 bucks, which is good. Uh, Rex is, I think, another person who gets uh, locator cards. Rex, stop! Rex! Thank you. Alright, uh. Alright, so we can't beat. Or we. We could probably beat Rex. Actually, I don't know. Alright, we have Esperoba, which I think this is like his baby brother, if I remember. Uh. So it's another person. Foo foo foo, don't think you can beat me. Um, I don't know why, like, laughter is foo-foo-foo. Um, if anyone knows, let me know, because I read it, I'm just really confused. Alright, so, starting out with Witch's Apprentice again, using the effect, and, uh, gaining that attack boost. Although I probably should have waited until later when I got more Shadow Monsters on the field, but it's all good. We'll go and take an early lead. And end our turn. What do you have for me? And I know this is an Asperoba. I know it's just like, I think the weakest of the brothers. And attack with Dharma Cannon, do 900 damage, another 1050, and he's at a solid 5,000 points. All right, what do we got? The greatest freaking monster of all. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter because I'm on a massive offensive. And he's got nothing to defend against me. 
So this is just going to be a massacre. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. There's another shadow. And come on. Let's take you out. Two hits. Boom. Boom. Done. Dual victory. Deck capacity increased by five. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be. 50 bucks. Come on. Big brother. Oh, that's Tristan. Whoa. I'm getting my big brother to beat on you. All right. Hello, motherfucker. All right. Uh, I just wanted to see the face. Foo, 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 foo. Don't think that you can beat me. It's exactly what your little brother said. Uh, I'll go back with using Zanky for Auntie. Because it seems to be giving us luck. Uh, Michaelion. Let's go and just... Fuck. That's not good. See, that's the type of shit that I don't like with type advantage. Because I easily could have went and beat the defensive points. But because of the type advantage, I was screwed. Um, We'll still be fine, though. Take that motherfucker down. And... Is this the first time we're getting damage taken on us? I don't remember. I can't remember if Bakora did any damage that was significant enough. Alright, let's get White Dolphin to attack Magician of Faith, just because I'm afraid that's going to be another, uh... Oh, shit. Another Lightning guy. It wasn't, but we also got the type advantage anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a cough. Uh, so you set one monster face down. Let's get House of Adhesive Tape. That way, we should be golden. Here, pony boy. We're doing a little bit of damage each time, but I mean, it's an advantage. See, right there, House of Adhesive Tape, beautiful card. Not really. I'd rather have uh, a bottomless or even just a regular trap hole. Um, so yeah, let's just, I guess, keep whittling them down, little by little. And by little, I mean actually, really damn little. I need to get. Uh, I need to get a better deck going here. But for right now, I don't have much. And I don't have much money. Well, I have a... I think I have a decent amount of money. I just don't have, uh, the duelist level. Um, off screen, I might go and just battle a couple of those, like, minor character people that don't mean anything. I don't even think they're... They're not even minor characters, they're just kind of there. Um, but yeah, I'll probably battle a couple of them just to get my duelist level up. And let's sacrifice White Dolphin for Sandstone. And let's... Yeah, we're going to take him out right here. Um, but I want to go and get my duelist level up, that way I can get some better cards. Because our capacity is going up pretty high, but we can't do anything with it. Wow, big brother, I'm getting my big brother to beat on you, and no, you're really not. Actually, Espa Roba might be pretty damn tough. Here's Roba. Alright, so, sneaking around the back, haha, surprised you, didn't I? Come, talk to him. Foo, foo, foo. Or nope, just foo, foo. How foolish of you. P, 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 I shall win. Okay, that's a little awkward. Let's see what you got. Come at me. Uh, Doron? If I remember in this game, uh, the effect is he splits. Yeah, so he's kind of like Revival Jam, but weaker. That's cool, though. I, that's not cool. Alright, we need something to take that out. What's the damage on it? Is that 300 attack? 350. Uh, let's get Morphin Jar. Got the type advantage and do some damage. Works for me. I would have liked to kept that other door on, though, because... Well, I'd like to go and get this down faster, and I lose another one. Alright, so are you just gonna use lightning? Or electric? I don't know. What is it, electric? Probably electric. Um. I'm just gonna attack with Skellinger. Yeah. I'm not gonna go and use the draw card effect. I don't really need it. If I had more traps and stuff to lay down, I probably would, but. I mean. I've got. A crap ton of monsters. Um, let's see how high your defense is, 400. Yeah, you're just using, like, regular bad cards like I am. So, I don't know. I don't think he actually gives us a locator card, does he? 
I don't remember. Um, sacrifice Mooka Mooka for Saber Slasher. And I think that's one of our strongest, uh, strongest cards right now. 1450 attack. Well, for one sacrifice, because we've got that last warrior with 2350, if I remember. Um, what do I want to use? I'm just going to go for the highest attack monster. And yep, we're going to go and beat Esperoba. And let's finish it off with Morphing Jar. I'm surprised Morphing Jar doesn't have his regular effect. 800 Domino. 800 bucks. And we've got Jinzo, which is awesome, and I can't use it yet, which sucks. What? I lost? I don't believe it. How could I lose? Because you suck. Big Brother! You have nothing to say? Oh, we do get another locator card. Wow. Okay, we are getting our locator cards pretty damn fast, so we're already halfway there. Um, I know there's more to the story, though. So, I think I'm going to go and end it for this episode. We went and beat two major characters, which is awesome. And, yeah, we'll go and knock out a couple more next episode. Alright, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Oh, my God.